Hi, Jeremy the Tall Trainer here, and I have a workout for you that hopefully will fit in the space of your bunk. All right, so this is something that you could do every day to help your body get healthier, uh, to make your job easier, to, uh, to, make, uh, to decrease your chance of uh, neck, back, shoulder, uh, knee pain, uh, and so this will make things work better. And it'll burn some calories, it'll do some toning, those kind of things too, uh, but um, most important, you will be better for it. Before we get started, if there is an exercise that hurts while you're doing this, don't keep doing it if it's hurting. Stop doing it and then uh, figure out how to, uh, how to improve that, uh, or maybe that's just not a good one for you. So skip that one and continue doing the others. All right, so not or no, no pain, all gain. Let's get started. The first exercise I'm gonna call the mobilization. All right, so we're gonna lay on our side. We're gonna reach with the elbow back behind us and then bring it back forward. Turn your head with it. So you look over there, reach with the elbow, and then come back to the front there. So we're stretching in the lower back, stretching the upper back, stretching through the shoulders and neck there. So a really good way to get started, a gentle way to get started. All right, especially if you've got tight muscles in there. All right, so try that. Now switch to the other side. So here, now I'm facing back and I'm leaning this way, looking and turning. The feet uh, are together, knees are together, and they're out in front of you on that side. Looking, reaching, coming back to front. Looking, reaching. So again, really the, a lot of focus on this workout is gonna be on getting your body to move better. And so this one definitely will help with that. Reach through, look, neck, shoulders, all that good stuff. Now we got back arm circles. All right, so you can do this kind of, you can sit in your bunk, you can, you can drop your legs down in front if you want to also, but you're circling backward here. All right, so um, I'll scoot back a tiny bit here. So we're circling back as we do this. So, so shoulders are, uh, are away from the ears, shoulders are down, chest is out. See a little bit from the side here. Squeezing in through there, shoulders down, chest out, really working that position there, dropping down, dropping down. When you're driving, those shoulders are going to go up and forward a lot. And so really, as we're in these back or arm circles, we're focusing on squeezing back and squeezing down, squeezing back, squeezing down, activating those muscles in the upper back. Gives you better posture. You won't look like a troll when you get out of the truck. You know, you'll be, you'll be able to stand up tall, which is good, which is good. I get that. Oh, good squeeze up there. Now we got the low squat hold. And so what you can do is you're gonna kinda hang your legs down over the bent, over the edge of the bunk there, and you're just gonna squat and hold that position. Alright, so so weight is on the heels, knees are out, holding that spot. Now, if you uh, you want to add a little more complexity to it, you can add the arms in. But before we do that, actually, I want to make sure we hit this. Weight on the heels, knees out, make sure they're not coming in front of toes. They're back here because we want to stretch out the hips. We've got to loosen up the hips because the hips are stuck in that seat all the time, right? Uh, so we can reach up if we want to in there. It is okay if yours does not look as low as mine does, all right? And over time, hopefully, it will loosen up and you'll be able to get a little bit more and a little bit more out of it. So if you need to, just sit down for a second and pause if you can't make it the full time. It's actually pretty hard to do. All right, so we're back on the heels. Getting the chest out, reaching those arms up, right in there, all right? Next up is a field goal squeeze. All right, so we're, we're squeezing down and squeezing back, dropping those shoulders as we do that. All right, so, so lining things up well. So we're again, another opportunity, we're stretching the chest out, we're stretching the neck out, and we're working those upper back muscles, all right? People who can do a lot of bench press don't scare me a whole lot at all. <laughs> But people who have a really strong upper back, those are the ones who are, who are pretty tough there. So making sure we've got some good posture to start with is a great way to go. So shoulder squeeze down, shoulder squeeze back. This is worth the investment of time. You know, it will take a little bit of time every day to do this, but it will pay huge dividends on how you feel. And in the end, that's all that really matters. Squeezing down, squeezing back. If you need to take a pause break, you can kind of shift sneak out of it for a second and then squeeze back to it again. Really focus on downward squeeze, downward squeeze on that. Now next one is push-ups. We should all be fairly familiar with these. <laughs> all right, but make sure 
head goes out in front of hands as you do the push-ups. So we're dropping in here and pressing back up. Now from the knees, some people call these girl push-ups. I think that's, that's, an, that's incorrect. They're just a different version of the push-up. All right, if you've got 30, 40, 50, or more pounds to lose, you need to be doing from your knees. Otherwise, it's gonna be way too much pressure to the shoulder. If you, give, if you master those pretty good, you can try to take it to the toes, but make sure your shoulders are away from the ears. You're not scrunching up through here. You're not dipping down between the hands. Your head is going out in front of the hands as you do that. It's harder that way, but it's better for you. Better for you that's working the correct muscles as we do it. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Nothing like a good minute of push ups. All right. So after push ups, we got the quad flexor. All right. So we're laying on our back. <coughs> Legs are up in the air. Abs are in tight. And you're trying to straighten your knees out more and more and more because we're going to stretch the hamstrings here. So when you're sitting in that chair for a while, your hamstrings are going to get quite tight. So we need to spend some time working on balancing that out a little bit. You're going to feel a little hip flexor, a little bit of quad, some ab out of this. I really try to see if you can lift. straighten the knees out pretty good and bring the legs towards you this way as much as possible. That's going to be tougher and tougher on those hamstrings. It's okay if you're only getting to here. Fight the fight that you have to fight, all right? So wherever your limitation is, work on that spot. Work on that spot in here. If this is too tough on the lower back, you can tuck your hands underneath there. Just give it a little bit of support as you're doing that because sometimes a soft bed may actually put you, make you a little more unstable while doing an exercise like this. All right, so then we got the hamstring walk-in. Oop, I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> I can stay right here. All right, so stepping out, stepping back in. I see the feet down there, stepping out, stepping back in. Now, I got that. Now I want to try to see if I can lift my hips up more as I'm doing that. So squeezing the hips up in the air, hip flexors being tight is a big deal. All right, that's going to be common when you're sitting for a while. All right, so, so pushing those hips up, getting some stretch in there. If you get a hamstring cramp, just straighten it out. Start and stretch it really quick, all right? If your body is really, really tight, you will get more cramps. The more flexible you are, the less you cramp, the better hydrated you are, the less you'll cramp. All right, so out, out, in, in. Squeeze those hips up. Stomach's pulled in a little bit as you're doing that. And again, find your ability level. If you're pretty strong, squeeze harder. Squeeze harder, squeeze higher. All right, now we got plank shoulder taps. All right, so for this one, back to a push-up type position, and I'm tapping the opposite shoulder there. So I'll show you the front here. All right, so I can, I can do it from knees. Here I got my knees kind of far apart a little bit as I'm doing that. Or I can go to toes as I'm doing this. All right, so I'll show you again here. So up on toes, rocking side to side a little bit. Not too much though. Abs are in tight. It's a little bit easier than a push-up because you're not going down, but it's harder on the core, the abs. When you go to, to one arm there, you're gonna feel the work through the abs there. And that's what the purpose of this exercise is, working on the core. If you need to, do it from the knees if you're feeling your lower back. I'm gonna try to feel more abs than lower back as we're doing this. All right, we got two exercises left. We got the W reach. All right, now we're down in here. We reach out, we squeeze back into a W position there. I got my legs tucked up to kind of mimic being on the bunk. You may not be able to fit this reach in unless you are bending the legs there. I'm 6'3, I got like an 8'3 reach. So I imagine you may not have that much room. <laughs> <laughs> in your bunk. Squeeze our shoulders away from the ears. And reaching out. If you can't get your hands off the ground when you're reaching out here, try just one at a time. Or maybe just don't reach out as far. Reach as far as you have the ability to. Right in here. Squeezing down. Squeezing out. If it feels nasty in your shoulder, don't reach out that far. Stay more with the squeeze in. If you need to, come down and up in that squeeze there. Stomach's pulled in a little bit. Helps out. All right, the last one is going to be the V-ups. So we're laying down on our back, legs are up. We're not doing the quad thing. 
a little bit like it, but reaching the arms back and coming up right in here. Small movements right in there. Squeezing from the core so that those, those muscles of the abs attach on your lower ribs. So we're coming through here, we're squeezing from those abs and moving the lower ribs a little bit. If you want to make it easier, try higher with the legs or more bent with the legs. It's easier on the core. If you want to make this tougher, you go out farther and lower, kick out a little bit more, but make sure you don't go out so far that your back starts to arch too much. All right, make sure you keep control of the lower back as we're doing that. Whoa, you're really focused. One minute can be a wonderfully exquisite time. Well, there you go. There's the workout. All right, so something that you can do on a regular basis. I hope this makes you better. If you have any questions, you can uh, send those through uh, Leonard's Express and uh, we'll make sure you get this stuff going right. So again, work on this. Make it a, uh, an everyday activity and you will notice a huge difference. Try it for a week and you'll notice a huge difference and it'll make you want to do it for the rest of your life probably. All right, so this is Jeremy the Tall Trainer saying have fun, be safe.